go to um, easy select each part of the body and also we're going to use the same um, method using this vertex group to uh, UV map this character in uh, parts. So um, in this area here, here, which is uh, data properties, object data properties, you have vertex groups there and I'm going to select uh, the group. So I'm going to go to tab key for your edit mode and I'm just selecting four of those um, faces and control plus to select the head up to the neck and I just come here create it and call it head and then assign. You need to assign it, don't forget. So and then if you deselect, so if you select and then deselect, yeah. And then I'm going to hide this um, on because then I'm going to mirror. Um, I'm going to mirror, so I'm going to mirror to X ray. Just do that and then Control Plus. And uh, make sure that you're not getting anything that you don't want to. And then delete that. And also, I'm going to delete one shoe. I'm just going to go to one. I'm going to do the same process. So I just select some of my fingers and control plus. Hands. And now I'm going to UV each part. Okay, so let's go to the UV method. So I'm going to first start with the head and I'm going to select the head and shift H to hide everything. So when you are UV, you have to think about where you want to put your seam. So your unwrapping is like making it flat. Okay, so, um, so we're going to go to our UV editing um, tab here. And I can see there's another UV already created there. So you come up here, UV map, there's a UV map. I'm going to delete that because I'm going to start from scratch. Um, okay, so I've got my head and I'm going to select the edges. Try to choose also a, always a seam that is in a place where it's hidden. So you don't want to put a seam in front in the middle of your face, right? Because this is when the texture will join together and you might see it's not my might not be seamless so I'm going to select like the side I mean this character has no ears or anything like that but you know it's just I want the face and the back part of the head um, if you want this is a one piece let me just show you this so you, what you do here is mark scene and then you select all and go to UV unwrap so if you and here i mean if you don't have if you don't see it you click that arrow there the double arrow and with my face here you can also select your uh, vertex um, edges and faces so if you select the face the faces here you know what the equivalent is so if i press ctrl l it will select that part up to the seam okay um in this case, I'm happy that to be separate, the back of the head and the front of the face. Select the head, Alt, Alt H to this uh, to unhide everything. Select the hands, and Shift hide. Okay. So for the hands, um, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate um, the top from the bottom. So I'm going to Alt Select here in the middle. That's why it's important to have a good, a good mesh, a good topology. Um, I don't want this bit here. I have a pole here, another pole there, which I don't really want that. So I don't want to separate this bit here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deselect. So I'm going to come back to the middle here. Alt and Control, select the areas you don't want. So I'm just going to go here by hand. Press Control to the end there. Yeah, something like that. Press shift and then control. Yes. It, I could just tidy up this bit here, uh, but it, you know, you're not going to see a lot. So, so I'm at the scene there. Mark scene. And that will separate the top from the bottom part of the hand. I mean, if you don't want to see any joint here, but I'm not going to put any significant kind of texture that you can see the join here is just going to be kind of skin texture so we press a and then go again and unwrap and that's our hand okay okay so hide this um select so alt page so I'm going to carry on, I'm going to accelerate the video, um, but before that I'm just going to do the t-shirt first. So select and shift H. So for the t-shirt just think about your normal t-shirt, um, where the seams are. So press Alt here, the seam normally is on the sides, under your arm, shift like that, and then I'm going to do the top here. Okay, so that should be my t-shirt um, mark scene and select all and unwrap. Okay, right. the shoes um, I'm going to separate um, the sole area so I'm going to hold and mark a seam here okay so that will be the sole and I would like maybe to mark different seams so I have this area here separate um, so Okay, so that's uh, my shoe. All completed, our UVs. So let's unhide the character. And it's all messed up here. It's all on the top of each other, or different sizes. Um, so what I'm going to do is select all and UV Park Island, and then it Blender try to distribute nicely all the all my pieces however uh, I know I'm still missing a, an arm and missing the shoe 
uh, no problem. I'm going to, um, because I don't want them, the shoe to be different. If you want them to be, um, to be different, then you wouldn't have two separate shoes here. But I'm going to leave one on the top of the other. That's why when I mirror, the UV is going to be on the top of the other UV. So they, whatever texture I put is going to be the same as the other. The same with the arm and the hand, unless you want tattoos in one arm and not in the other. So then you need to have them um, spread out separately rather than on top of each other. What's happening here is that I don't want, for example, this is my, is this an arm? I don't want the arm to be big. So the bigger the part here, the more resolution you get in your texture. And I want my face, for example, to be bigger. So I'm going to do some adjustments in terms of uh, uh, scaling. So I'll select the arm here and I'm going to scale down because I don't really need a lot of detail. Just move it aside. This is my head. I also want my head to be straight just get this bit here so just this control um, control L to select the whole thing I'm just gonna shift things around and rotate so I'm just tidy up you don't need to do that but um, it depends what you're trying to do and how much flexibility you want with you I like to have my take my UV is nicely laid out if I want to come and paint it's easier so this is my face so my face first I want to rotate so straight and bigger I want the face to be bigger because if I'm gonna paint a face here I want it to have more resolution so the t-shirt gonna rotate Control L, tidy up. So is this part of So the formations. Let's have a look how this is looking. Uh, so a good way of doing this is adding uh, in my shading. Oh, I come here in this material that I have applied to my character. I accidentally deleted that. So. Uh, it's looking for a texture so. new material okay so that's my new material and I'm going to add a new texture a checker texture so I just want to add a checker texture and I can see here coordinate I'm using my UV so I also need a mapping texture So if I go back to my UV editing and you can check here, yeah. So you can see how this texture is going across, uh, and if there's any deformation, um, yeah. So you should have more or less the same number of uh, the same size squares. So I'm going to select here, and there isn't something in Blender 
So you can come here and you can minimize stretch. And you see what it's doing? It's minimizing the stretch and trying to um, reduce any stretch that you have in the mesh. I mean, you can you can put some, uh, I put here iterations you have to try and see, um, you know, you can put 1,200, just have a go and play with it. I think I'm happy with this. Yeah, you can see here where the texture joins. You see there's a difference here now. I'm not too bothered about because I'm not going to put any texture. I'm just going to put a skin color. But you see here, it's much bigger than the other because I scaled this part of the head. I didn't scale that one. So you have to be aware of that depending on what texture you want. Yeah. So for the t-shirt, I didn't scale only one part because otherwise it's not going to the, we're going to see a difference here in terms of scale, uh, the texture scale. Mirror the parts that are missing. So come down here to my um, vertex group and select the hands, select the arms and select shoes. And separate them. Okay, so now a different, uh, go back to object mode and now I have my... Uh, arm, hand and shoe in a separate layer, it's a separate object, sorry. And then I'm going to apply a mirror modifier. That's it. And it's done. So now, but still separate objects. So I need to apply this, right? And I go back, so I select my character, select my uh, arms and shoe and join them together. So with the right mouse button, I'll up or J or Control J, join. So just be aware of one thing. If I go back now to edit mode, you might have double, uh, once you do that, you have where the joints are, we have double vertices. So we need to make sure we merge. So select all, mesh, merge, vertex by distance. And if they're overlapping, they will merge on their back. So now when I click, when I select this hand, the UV of this hand is in the same place as the other hand, yeah? As I said, if you don't want that, if you want to put, let's say, tattoo here and this arm and not that arm, then you will need to select the arm, yeah? So you come here and control L and then you move this and put it separately. Make sure you put inside the UV, UV island. You might need to redo uh, you know the packing but that's how it works okay i'm as because i want the same i'm gonna keep the same control z there you go right okay so this part is done and uh we're gonna go to um texturing now so for texturing um let's go back here uh i've downloaded a couple of um uh, textures from Polyhaven and you have here the gallery, go to the gallery, um, you can search assets, sorry, texture, so not gallery, assets, texture, and you have all sorts of textures here that you can download for free. Um, I went to fabric and I chose a couple of textures here, fabric, these are free to download, so and then the other place I went, so I downloaded, I think, the fabric denim or something. And the other place I went to download text as a share texture, the assets. And, and here as well, you can find um, all sorts of textures and models that you can download. So if you come here in the texture tab. Oh, is asking me to join um oh yeah there you go it's fine so i've downloaded this texture here but you can choose anything you like so just to you have when you go there you need to select um what resolution you want so i downloaded the 2k texture right that's what is good enough for what we're doing now um Remember, if you're going to go quite close to the character in your game or something, you might need a bigger uh, a 4K texture. I'm using 2K. Okay, so 
let's go and do texturing now. I've got my character here, got the UVs. So the first thing I'm going to do, i uh, still going to use the my vertex groups again. Okay. And I'm going to apply materials to them. So I'm going to hands and arms. So hands. I need to be tab in the edit mode. So hands, arms, select, select arms and select the head. Yeah, because this is kind of going to be skin color. So I'll come here and add a material. New material. Skin material. Okay. I'll just put just a general color for now. So kind of it's kind of skin color. Um in order to see, let's come here. And obviously I need to go and do my shading. Yeah. And that material there, I don't really need anymore. I'm just going to delete. So at the moment, the whole thing, it became uh, apply the material to the entire body. But I need to go to my edit mode. And with the head, hands, and uh, arms, sorry, selected, I need to go here and assign that material to those faces. Uh, now I'm going to go back here and select the t-shirt, select, oh, make sure you select the others, t-shirt, select, and I'm going to apply a new material, t-shirt, material, and I'm just going to put a, just a random color now and assign. Make sure you assign, okay? In the previous lessons, you've learned how to apply the textures uh, individually, one by one, so you understand that process. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the textures. So here I have the textures for the trousers, it's kind of denim um, fabric. And then I have the base color here, it's the color, the normal map, the roughness, and the ambient occlusion, okay? And for the t-shirt, I have many others here. Um, ambient occlusion based color, the height, if you want to apply displacement, uh, the metallic is black because there's no metal material in it. Um, normal map, the opacity and the roughness. And the color, right, okay. So this time we're gonna use the node um, uh, add-on, node wrangler which is just search here and old wrangler make sure that is on okay so the way you do it so i'm in i am in my trousers for example so i'm just going to get the trousers here select that material control shift t and go and find the material so then then select those textures sorry not the material the textures select those textures and then principal textures setup and it does automatically so you already created all the nodes that you need so you have here a mapping texture that say that you set up then you can say how many um how many times you want to repeat that texture uh, then i have the roughness is already connected to roughness and I can see here that I'm missing the color so it didn't actually bring the color so it created the texture
as you can see it doesn't look like a fly but as you can see it's there right so it's, the texture is quite big so let me just bring the color here so I'm gonna add an image texture and base color and then connect to the color yes there you go uh, obviously this texture is too big okay so what I'm gonna do I need to repeat and I need to also get my mapping texture and connect to the vector so when I repeat we repeat for all of them so let's say I put five here repeating the scale yeah so that is better still not the right direction I want but this has to do with my UVs um, you see it's not joining the way I want it so I would need to change the UVs in order to have them aligned to the texture so a good example of that I'll probably UV this again you see because that is the direction of the texture so and my UV is here so it's taking that direction I might need to change that if I want if that's important if you would see that a lot then I would um, UV this differently to align my UVs with the, the texture okay so I don't need to do that now because it's pretty happy with that uh, let's do the let's do the t-shirt now so I'm gonna select my t-shirt material it's here and again control shift T and I go to my material it's not working Okay, principal texture, texture, and it's all connected, except again the color texture. So everything else is here, even including the displacement texture, as you can see here. I'm going to increase again to three.
um, I'm just gonna go to my texture paint I mean um, at the moment I only have a color there I'm not gonna paint the texture but I'm just gonna show you how this works um, this is my I mean texture paint if you don't see the same thing you just have to come down here where the, the little cross is and bring it up and you open a new uh, window and here you can put um, in my, I'm using here shade editor you can choose what window you want and this one I have my image editor okay um, the way it works um, you can paint you need to create a texture and you can paint directly here which you can do um, you can export uh, your UVs and the other thing is you can come to this UV here and export just realized this is coming off here it shouldn't be out there uh, just bring it down a little bit yes remember if you painted that that would okay that's fine um, so you can actually UV you can export UV layout and you can export as a PNG and bring it to Photoshop or any other software that you want and then paint um layers and bring it back here and it will do that it will appear as a texture so you can do that you can export this uv and then paint as well um also um i like to export the character and texture in a substance painter um as well it's another option is a it's super powerful and is used in games quite a lot okay right so but now I'm just going to texture paint and at the moment I only have a color I don't have any texture applied to it so if I paint here now for example you don't see anything so here you have brushes yeah so yeah, you have a different types of brush. F to make the size of your brush. Again, uh, the same way as the sculpting, or you can use here, and the strength as well. Okay. Now, what I need to do is to create an image texture. I'm not going to create all of it. I'm just going to create an, uh, one for the color, but we we create new and we call character. Color, texture, and I'm gonna two pair. I don't want alpha channels. Um, Thirty-two bit float. Uh, let's just do it like that. And so now I have an image there that I'm going to connect to my base color, but it's black because there's nothing there. So if I come here, image color texture. This is the image I just created, which is black. There's nothing in it. If I paint now. If I come here on my color and just paint, let's say here, uh, hold on a second, yeah, uh, take the color here, then you would see there, right? So, but what I want to do, and I do have a little bug in uh, Blender at the moment, so I don't know if this is going to work or not, I can do the paint bucket. I did a paint bucket. Yeah, I do have a bug here. It's painting more than it should. Um, let's just see if it's actually doing it. Oh, it's just appearing now. It is actually doing. So uh, if you have this problem here, which you shouldn't happen, but if you do have it, you can uh, also do it from here. Yeah, so I do use the image and then it's painting all right. So I paint everything, but you know, it's only applied to the skin, anything that has the skin material. Um, how I wanted to show, obviously you can come here and then start adding details and uh, choose your colors. I don't know, I can make a little bit red and you can use the mirror the same way. It's on here already. So let's say I'm going to come here and yeah, 
you can use all the kinds of multiply color bar light and screen and uh, overlay the same way you're using photoshop um, you can also come here and use a black one and with a small brush let's say because i don't have enough face so you can paint uh, you see my strength i put a strength to a thousand to one and then i can paint the eyes Maybe I do this, yeah. So this is the only way I can see. It's not the way I normally do, but you can do that if you want. I'm going to undo. I'm going to just leave the color, this color now. Um, what I would like to show, uh, this the other thing which I'm going to show you is the ambient occlusion. Let's just add an ambient occlusion here. The ambient occlusion is the closed shadow as we talked about uh, in previous lessons. Um, so what I can do is see is a color ramp, add a color ramp, and if I put it here, let's just put it there. As you can see, now we can't see it because we need to turn ambient occlusion on in your render engine. So ambient occlusion, as you can see, something has changed already. I did have it with my t-shirt. So the ambient occlusion is on. Let me just bring this one back. So if I put it here and it, you can see how it works with the closed shadow. Yeah, so textures there. Um, we applied all the textures we want now to bake. So if you want to bring this character to game engine or to mix them onto animate or or just export uh, to another software, we need to bake this textures onto this UV mapping. Okay, so let's have a look at the UV editing. Okay, so we want to bake that texture and add that to these places. Uh, we can we're gonna do exactly uh the same textures that we brought from other textures that we import so we want the color texture we want the roughness texture um and the normals they are, they are the main ones so so let's just do these three ones uh depending what you're gonna do obviously if you have something that has emit light so you have the emission like um texture if you have metal then you would also bake the metallic texture okay i mean i know this is not the most beautiful texture or just this is for the purpose of the exercise so we have that we have, we have this character with this textures so now we're going to bake so how do we bake so we've gone back to our um shading mode and um what we're going to do um we're going to create let's say I am in my, uh, let's have a look to my uh, t-shirt the material. Okay, so this is my texture for the t-shirt material. I'm going to now create a new texture to bake onto. So add texture and image texture. Okay, and I'm going to call this texture color character bake. Okay. So I'm just going to leave a 1K map. By the way, um, the, uh, this textures I apply is a 1K because I applied before this 4K and it was taking ages to bake. So just be aware of that as well. So those textures I apply is a 1K texture. Okay. Uh, and I am actually baking a 1K texture, 1024 by 1024 and just press OK. So now I need to actually copy this to every other material so then I can bake all of them together. If I don't copy this to the other materials, then it will bake one by one. So I'm just gonna do that. Let's just control. Let's go to the, the shoes material. Just go there, where is it? Just make sure that it's somewhere here nearby. So control V. Just leave it there, okay. Just leave it here somewhere, uh, and then go to the trousers one. 
Control V. Okay. I think this one. I don't need that one. Okay. And then the skin material. Control V. Okay. So I have them in, in all of uh, all the materials. That texture. This is the texture that I'm going to bake. Okay. So here I'm going to color texture character bake. At the moment it's black. There's nothing there. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to uh, my uh, render properties, make sure it's in cycles. Um, you, If you have GPU, GPU, I'm using a Mac, so I don't have a GPU, CPU for me, right? And I go down here to bake and what you do is uh, bake. I don't want to combine, I want to bake the color. So the color map is the diffuse, okay? So bake type is diffuse, which is the color text, color texture. And then just press color here. The direct and direct light means that if you want to bake the lighting with it, and I don't want that, I just want color. And uh, don't clear the image, image texture. So that's what I want. There you go. And then uh, you, Make sure you select the character, select the texture, and then bake. It should take a few minutes. I will stop the video and come back when it's ready. It took a few minutes and now it's baked, the color texture. So yeah, so it's all baked in our uh, UV. So if you come here to you, you'll be even you see better. Uh, it's a color character bake. Okay, that is our color texture, right? Okay, so now let's go and do the same thing for the roughness uh, and for the normal. Let's go back to uh, my shading. Where's my shading? There you go. So uh, the same thing, I'm gonna come add uh, texture, image texture. And I'm gonna actually bake, um, oh, remember to save, yeah? I'm just gonna go back and save. So let's just go um, normal character. I uh, don't need alpha channels here, uh, it's just a normal map and okay. Before anything, just go and make, make sure you have to save the image. If you don't save and close Blender, this image is not going to be saved. So save as um, and I'm going to color ca character bake. Uh, let me just create a new folder here, I call it baked textures. And I save that, save as an image. Okay, so now the same thing. This is going to be my normal. So just leave them there. We're going to apply them later. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, control copy. So you go here, so back to uh, your baking. And then here, instead of diffuse, you choose your normal, right? And okay, I think we're ready to go. Bake. It's baked. Okay, we do the same thing again with uh, the roughness. And for the purpose of this exercise, that's all I need. I want to do. Uh, okay, I could do an um, ambient occlusion and all that, but I'm just going to do those three. But you get the the idea. So add texture, image texture, it's the same story again. And um, make sure you save. Let's just go and save image, you see it? Save, save. Let me just save in the right, uh, yeah, it's in the right place and just save as an image. Okay, good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna create now the roughness. Character bake. Uh, okay. And 
and don't forget to copy and paste um, on So here, and don't forget to change here uh, to roughness. Okay. Then bake. Yes. If by any chance your it doesn't bake all all of them, you might have to go to. I had to do this. You might have to go to different ones here, and click them, and then bake again. Okay, to the different materials. I don't know why some some of them that didn't come up. For example, in my roughness, the shoe didn't come up, so I had to come to the shoe, um, and then bake, and then they would complete the rest. Uh, okay, so these are our three th textures that we can apply to um, this character now. The baked textures, so we no longer need those textures anymore. But let's do one thing. Let's just create a new new material now. Uh, and I call it um, baked material. I'm going to call it character baked material. Okay, so, and that is my material. Let's go back here to, Okay, so I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna control copy and go to my character material and control V and don't forget I, uh, sorry, let me just before I forget, don't yeah, I see I keep forgetting. Save. Save your roughness as well, don't forget roughness character bakes. Control V. Is it the normal now? Yeah. So now again, the normal, I need a normal map, add um, vector normal map, connect the color to the color. And the normal to the normal. Okay. Uh, so I select all first and make sure you assign that material to the character okay okay so go back to object mode okay so you can see already I've applied the normal and it's already showing some normal stuff there okay so normal information uh, now I'm going to it doesn't, it doesn't show because here's quite subtle for, you know, so this is, that's the equivalent of bump bump. Have a look. Uh, the t-shirt, yeah, as you can see, if you get very close to it, or maybe if you use, you don't see it very well, but you can see some information there, the bump information. Okay. Okay, right. So we need to just get our roughness. And get to roughness and the color we will do here. Okay, it is a bit weird here because it did actually, I did bake the, um, the ambient occlusion together with the. Um, with the color for um, the skin uh, it doesn't look very good guys I would have to redo this yeah but you get the idea you see that uh, I have the information of uh, the closed shadow the ambient occlusion and you baked with it um, it's not looking great once you apply but uh, this is how you do it right so and um, let's just remove the specular as well. Make sure you remove the specular. And okay, 
I mean, here you have this problem, but you know, when you have hair and everything, that's going to be a different story. So you need to decide if you're happy or not. I don't like this change here, something between the arms and the, and the hands. So I would redo this, this bit as well, you see here. Okay, so there are some problems there. It's probably because I uh, baked the shadow information in, in the color texture. Yeah. I would definitely do it differently. Um, I would do the color only without any shadow and then uh, bake an ambient occlusion uh, texture. Anyway, you get the idea. So now you have your character ready to be exported with the textures. So you basically click the object, go to export. I would export in two different formats. So I would export uh, an FPX file. Uh, actually, I'm going to go uh, here and I put simple guy exported. Simple guy export. I have here, so I'm, I had one there, so I'm just gonna export in the middle. Make sure you select the object. I don't want camera lamp, I want a mesh. And um, just select objects. Uh, I think this is it. Export. Actually, I'm gonna put inside here the baked textures. I'm gonna put it inside, okay? I'm together in the same folders the textures and also I'm going ex to go to export uh, as a obj and I'm gonna just put it outside the obj simple guy export obj again uh, objects and material groups I think that's it okay so Save your work, delete that and import the uh, OBJ. The OBJ worked fine, so um, FBX had a little problem there, but the OBJ, OBJ is working. So in order to bring that to Mixamo, uh, what you could do is you need, in order to bring with the textures, you need to zip the file, right? So simple guy export. I'm just going to put it here. Uh, so simple guy export OBJ, and I'm going to put the big textures inside that folder. And I'm gonna zip this, right? I'm gonna zip this file, uh, compress uh, two items, and simple guy zip. And with that, you can bring into Mixamo, um, which there is another video for that. Yeah, and uh, and then you will bring it in with the textures. Okay, if you don't zip the file, well, the character will bring it will be in Mixmo with uh, without the textures, so you know. But even that, you can use, you can animate in Mixmo and bring it back to Blender, and then uh, just just reapply this texture. Okay, so that's all for this video for this lesson.